Hi everybody, this is Mark and Catherine. We are going to be building a pinhole projector today because this is May 20. Tomorrow night there's actually going to be a partial eclipse visible from Michigan and so we thought it'd be really cool to try to get a projector together to sh see it because obviously you don't want to look at the sun directly, that would just be bad. So Catherine and I are going to build this projector right in front of your eyes and we're also going to be building a mount for the projector for my tripod and we'll show you how that's done. So first things first, here's how not to watch an eclipse. Look directly at the sun with your naked eye. There are a few ways you can safely watch an eclipse, but one of the cheapest is with a pinhole projector. The idea behind the projector is simple. Rays from the sun pass through a pinhole at one end of the projector, and the image of the sun can then be projected onto a piece of paper or cardboard at the other end you can safely watch the projected image of the sun. There are no mirrors or lenses in the projector. It's just a simple tube. So how does it manage to form a clear image at the other end? The pinhole opening only allows rays from the sun that are pretty much coming at it directly, which means there's no need to focus those arrays with something like a lens. The image will appear fairly sharp naturally. Now, if you start to make the hole any larger than a pin though, the projected image quickly begins to blur. So, Catherine's going to go over the supplies, and then we're going to start building this thing. Okay, for the actual projector, we have the, t like, tube and, like, duct tape. Any sort of, like, strong tape could do. We have scissors, preferably, like, sharp enough to cut cardboard. An index card, a pin, and some aluminum foil. And for the mount, we have a bolt. I don't know what size it is, but it's a bolt. It fits It yeah. fits the, okay. the, well, here, start with this. It, okay, it fits, like, we have this, which can mount to, like, video cameras for the tripod. So it, like, does, so, like, you can, like, turn it around and stuff. We and have, the, and like, the bolt, yeah. the bolt is just yeah. one that I found that happened to fit this screw. That's the, that's yeah. really the key part here. Yeah, we have a washer, a couple of these, what do you call them, Dad? These are called zip ties. Okay, zip ties, and we have a little sponge that's a little bit bigger than the little placey thingy that goes on the tripod. Yep, I just, earlier I cut, this is just a, a, a you know, like a kitchen sponge or whatever that I cut down to, to fit this better. And of course, the zip ties have to be blue, that's like critical in this whole project. I'm just kidding. Alright, so, the first step... Um, the first step is we're actually going to build the projector. Yeah. And Catherine is going to narrate as she goes through these okay. steps, what, what she's doing. So, like, the part you're going to be looking through, like, you're not just going to look through the hole in the tube, you're really going to cut a hole like this in the tube. So, like, you see, like, this little flap is sticking out? Now, I find this kind of hard. But you can kind of, like, but you cut it off, like, this, mm -hmm. so it comes off and you have this little place that you're going to look into. Now, now wait a minute. Am I going to stick my eyeball so it goes down there? Am no, I going to look down the tube? like, we're going to put the index card right here, and then you're going to look at the index card where, the, where like, it's going to be projecting projecting the picture. Okay, so we're not going to look right at the sun. We're going to look at the sun's image on yeah. the index so card. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a tubular like telescope mirror thingy. Okay. okay, that works for me. All right, so that was step 1. We cut out the little piece of cardboard for the projector viewing spot. Yeah. All right, so now what's step 2? Um, we're going to use aluminum foil. To, we're gonna. This part is a little hard, but it's pretty easy. Like you're gonna put aluminum foil on this, on the other end of the tube. Now, do you like mash out down on it or? No. No. Be very gentle. Be very okay. I mean, you want you want this tube to still be tubular. Okay. So like you get a better projection, but. Like, and you, but you still want this to be flat. Okay, cool. There we go. So we now we've got the, you, you put the aluminum foil on the end, and now we're going to 
keep it from falling off, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to get like a bunch of chewing gum, right? And stick it under the edge? No, Dad. Oh. We're going to take, ah, we're going to take some tape. Oh, well. Hey. Going to take some, oh, that's like mallard duct tape, right? Oh, wait, it's just called duct tape. My bad. And it's very sticky, apparently. Yes. Okay. So, so gonna... we kind so, like, so we wrap it around, like, to keep it in place. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> watch out, it's grabby. <laughs> it really is grabby. So, apparently, I, I went ahead earlier and actually cut out all the pieces of tape that we would need for this project. And the important thing here, folks, is remember to keep it away from every, especially itself, because it's just going to grab it on. It's just going to grab on and not let go. So Catherine's securing the aluminum foil. She's just making sure. It doesn't have to be really super tight or strong. Like she said before, you got to make sure the tube stays tubular. Totally tubular, dude. And then, but just make sure that the, the aluminum foil is actually going to stay on, because obviously... Later, tomorrow night, we're going to get in the car and actually drive out to um, some place that we can see the eclipse well. And so you just don't want to make sure, you want to make sure that it just doesn't fall off on its own. So that looks pretty good, though. Okay. And the other key thing is at the very end, the, the aluminum foil at the end should be as flat as you can make it. it you don't want to have a lot of crinkles in there because it'll, it'll obscure, it, it'll make, give you a blurrier image, I think. Yeah, if there are crinkles, like, on the sides, that's fine. Right. Up here, uh-uh. No. It's just try, try to get it as flat. So now the next step, the next step is we want to make the pinhole part of the pinhole projector. So, like, it doesn't have to be very big. You want it as small as possible. And try and get it as in dead center. That's all you need. So now we have a pinhole in our aluminum foil. And that's going to make, that's going to let light in from the sun. The light is going to shine all the way through down to the tube. And then it's going to shine onto the index card that we're going to tape at the bottom. That's our viewing card. All right, so now we're going to attach the um, index card. So what we've got here, Catherine, let go for yeah. a second. Um, what we've got is we're just holding, we're just holding the tube up on top of the card. And Catherine's got the index card down on the table and she's going to just tape it with these pieces of tape here as best she can. It's okay. a little little hard. So go ahead, Kat. Okay. Just a minute. Mm. I'll hold it, Dad. Alright, I'm holding it now. And again, this doesn't have to be really, really super strong. It just needs to be able to hold the index card in place without actually, you know, it, make sure the index card doesn't fall off in transit. Okay, Dad. You can let go now. All right, keep going. We got two more pieces of tape. You can never have enough duct tape. Didn't you know no, that? No, like you can let go because it can balance on its own. Oh, I I guess I don't trust it to be that strong. Sorry. Okay. Last piece of tape. Last piece of tape. All right. Incoming. All right. So now we got our projector spot. We got our projector viewing area. And we got the pinhole at the other side, so I think this is ready for a test. What do you say, Kat? You want to go outside and try it? Yeah, but then we have to come in and do part two of the... That's movie. right. Part two is the mount for the tripod. So hold on a second here. Okay, so now we're outside. We're out, out on our deck. And we're going to try... We're going to test this out. It's actually... It's still Saturday. It's about, I don't know, what is it, like 3 o'clock or so uh -huh. in the afternoon. So we're just going to try and see if we can actually get... Show you guys what this is going to look like when we actually get the thing lined up. So what we're going to do, we're not going to look at the sun. We're going to look away and we're going to point the end that has the aluminum foil up towards the sun. And then we're going to try to get the sun image to appear on the index card. Oh, hold on. That's some moving it around, moving it around. There it is. There it is. Can you hold it, Kat? See the little ball of light? That little ball of light in there. That's the sun. Now, it is it is kind of faint. And that's part of it, I think, is because it's so bright out right now. Part of it is, you know, this is just a pinhole. This is not a real telescope or anything. But hopefully this will be enough for us tomorrow night to see 
when the moon goes in front of the sun, we should be able to see uh, um, the actual crescent come across. It's not going to be a full eclipse in Michigan, unfortunately, but hopefully it'll be enough for us to actually see part of it. So now we're going to go back inside and show you step two, which is the mount for the tripod.